Now we talk weather again. Chief Meteorologist David Carnes is back. Hey, David, looking at uh, cold tempers out, temperatures out there, but changes on the way. Uh, yeah, big changes on the way. We're going to see it warming up a little bit already. A nice balmy 30 degrees in some spots. Take what you can get right. We're going to warm up even more tomorrow after a hard freeze in the morning. We'll get up to the low 40s. That's going to be followed tomorrow night by a wintry mix heading th uh, heading in during the evening hours, and that's going to be followed by cold dry weather this evening. Right now it's 30 degrees in Chattanooga. A little bit of a breeze, not strong, but strong enough to knock our temperature down to a feels like of 24. That's your wind chill. 30 in Dalton as well as Chattanooga, 27 in Cleveland, 32 in Murphy. And as we head through the uh, uh, the day on Thursday, well that cold start again. Uh, if the pipe uh, were threatened this morning. They'll be threatened again tomorrow morning. Uh, so make sure those are uh, prepared for one more day. And then we'll see it warming up low 40s, but then about four or five o'clock, we'll start to see a cold rain moving through. I do think that may even switch over into a light wintry mix at some of the higher elevations. So just be aware of that. And not only light wintry mix, but we may have some freezing rain in some counties that we're dealing with. We'll show you more on that in a moment. Radar and satellite, we're looking good. Pretty clear skies. That high pressure to our south, giving us a southerly wind that's continuing to warm us up uh, over the next couple of days. But again, that is uh, going to lead to uh, it's bringing in more moisture. It's going to lead to more rain and a light wintry mix. This is not going to be anything like the system that uh, uh, paralyzed much of the area for about 24 hours, but it is going to be a kind of a nuisance that we're going to have to deal with. So that's going to push right through the Tennessee Valley. You can see rain to the south, maybe some light snow showers to the north, uh, but for the most part, light uh, uh, rain is going to be the main feature of this with some of the higher elevations getting that wind mix and maybe even some light snow showers early Friday morning. Big problem Friday morning is going to be temperatures will be in the upper 20s and low 30s and I do think we'll see some areas of freezing on the roadways for our Friday. Uh, during the morning hours. Then Friday afternoon will clear out and into Friday night and Saturday a cold, cold spell is going to be returning. We'll have lows of about 11 and a high of about 25 on Saturday. Well, let's uh, just to show you how little accumulation we're dealing with. I'm going to start with rain, uh, very little rain, a tenth to maybe a two tenths of an inch of rain and the snowfall is going to be pretty non-existent for most. Again, to the north, maybe we get up to, I don't know, a tenth quarter of an inch in some of our northern counties but you're not going to get that much. One big problem, even though it's not going to be much, uh, is in this area where temperatures will be even colder, uh, mid to upper 20s, we may see a light glaze of ice developing on some of the roadways. So we'll have to be very watchful coming into work, coming into school uh, uh, on Friday morning there. And then up in the Blue Ridge Mountains, it won't be quite as cold, but still a few spots bridges, overpasses may see some light glazes of ice developing there as well. The winter weather advisory is only in effect for the counties over the plateau. The higher elevations of Ray and Hamilton County are included in that. That's in effect for uh, Thursday evening into Friday morning. Freezing rain expected. A light glaze of ice on surfaces is possible. So for tonight, uh, clear skies, a hard freeze as we drop down to 15 degrees. 12 in Cleveland, 14 in Dalton, 16 in Scottsboro, and then tomorrow, much warmer with a light PM. I'm going to call it a wintry mix, mainly a cold rain, maybe a few flurries blended in with it. Uh, highs tomorrow will be nice in the low 40s. We're looking forward to that. And then again, that will be during the nighttime hours when we see that wintry mix moving in Thursday night into early Friday morning. May have a little bit of areas of patchy ice that we need to deal with. It will be in the upper 20s and low 30s Friday morning. So the Friday morning commute might be a little dicey for some of us. 36 for the high, get above freezing, and then right back down 11 on Saturday morning, 26 on Saturday afternoon. A cold start, but a nice warm up to 35 on Sunday. You know, I'm talking about a nice warm up. How about next week? Oh, even that chance of rain, that doesn't scare me at all as long as we are in the 50s, guys.